Uh, doo -doo. Hi everyone, it's Mandy with Product Insider, and uh, today we're welcoming the Confluence team, who's going to give us a whole bunch of really awesome updates. Um, and we're going to kick things off with DJ. Yeah. Hi everybody, my name is DJ, and I'm the product manager on Confluence on a team called Discovery and Organization, and we focus on helping our users uh, discover, or find, and discover the right page. And I wanted to introduce a, a, a little delight feature that we've been working on, uh, which is updating the shortcuts experience. So let me share my screen real quick, and then I will present. And so for uh, those of you who may not be familiar, uh, what's a space shortcut? So uh, we like to call, think about these as curated links that are always visible in the side nav. So as you can see here, there's a section called space shortcuts. And you can add any link there so that it's easy for your team members to access. They're kind of like bookmarks. And a quick fun fact here is that it's the third most frequent click in the side nav. So uh, clicking on a page in the page tree is uh, the most frequent uh, action. And then clicking on space overview. But also clicking on uh, the space shortcut is the third most frequent. So it gets a lot of usage. Additionally, as I mentioned, you can add any link uh, to the shortcuts. And we see that about 70% 70, 70 of shortcuts are Confluence pages, and about 30% are uh, non-Confluence pages or external links. So let me give you an overview of what, uh, why we're doing this work. So uh, if any of you have used shortcuts before, uh, adding a shortcut or managing them is a bit cumbersome. And just adding a shortcut, it's a six-step process here. And uh, you know, our UI, it could use a little bit of a refresh as well. And there's some missing features, like if you want to edit a shortcut, if you want to update the link or update the title text, you have to actually delete that shortcut and then add a new shortcut. All right, so what are we doing here? Um, so as I mentioned, this experience uh, feels a little outdated. And we're going to uh, update it with this link picker here. So instead of taking you out of context and showing this modal, when you wanna add a shortcut, we'll see, uh, we'll show you this link picker in line and you'll be able to uh, paste any link here or you'll be able to search Confluence across your instance uh, to find a page. And then you'll be able to add a link text or uh, as a handy view, we'll populate this by recently viewed so that you can quickly uh, find the page that you want to add as a shortcut. Also, uh, looking at some of the ways to manage a shortcut, uh, we'll include this quick action menu item here where you'll be able to directly edit the shortcut or remove it. Also, you'll be able to drag and drop these shortcuts directly within that section to be able to reorder them. Okay, and lastly, um, we're using uh, this uh, internal service, what we call smart links, where uh, when you add a link, it'll resolve so that the icon will display what type of link that is. Uh, and so you notice that this is a Google Doc, and that page or that link will uh, have that icon. And this is a Google Calendar. And uh, we, we support a number of uh, different types of links. And so we're excited to add a little bit more personality here and give you all uh, a better idea of what it is actually linking to by showing these icons. Cool. All right, and that's it. Awesome, thank you so much, DJ, that's great. Um, let's see, next up, uh, who's going next? Second, let's do you next because the uh, status one I think is a little longer. Sure, all right, I'm gonna share my screen. Cool. All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Sika Jipo, and I'm one of the product managers here on the Creator Experience team, where we focus on content creation. And today, I'm going to introduce to you custom panels. So before that, I'm going to do like a really quick shortcut of creating a new page. So I type in make.page directly into my website browser URL. It takes me directly into a Confluence page in my personal space. So the page loads. And let's say I want to add some text to my page here. And then I add a title to my page. As you can see, this page has a lot of text. But let's say I want to highlight an important piece of content. 
one feature that we have today uh, is custom panels, which can be used to highlight important pieces of content. So I want like something to stand out on the page. I just type slash command custom. I can insert a custom panels directly into the page and I can remove the emoji to have like a blank panel. I can also change the colors or add different emojis there to make it show whatever I want it to show. As you can see, you have several different options in regards to adding emojis or adding different colors. So you can choose whatever combination that you want. Some people like to also put some text in their custom panels. So let's say um, team is off uh, in May. You can put that in your custom panel. You can copy and paste that to another part of your page if you want to like just have a certain range of text in a certain part of the page. But yeah, pretty much the custom panel is just used to like highlight and distinguish uh, parts of content on a page. And before we had just like basic info panels or like no panels, but these ones are pretty restrictive to only like five combinations, but now you have a multitude more combinations since you have all the emojis here in the emoji picker, and you also have all the different colors here. So yeah, I just wanna share that with you today that um, custom panels is now out to 100% of customers. And you can use this feature to customize your Confluence pages more and make them pop and make them stand out. And also use the feature to like highlight important pieces of content. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, we're just excited to like continuing to improve your content creation experience. Awesome, thank you so much. Those are so cool. Um, and I'm so excited to be, I can customize my emoji now. <laughs> which I think is excellent. Um, thank you so much. And next up is Lulu with uh, page status. That's right, page status. Yep. Let me share my screen. Hey everyone, my name is Lulu. I am an engineer on the Confluence Content Experience team filling in for Sam because she has a family emergency today. And I'm one of the engineering leads for page status. So page status um, is a way to align creators, collaborators, and viewers on the status of a page. Um, so there are a lot of problems where we see users title stuffing, like putting in work in progress in their page. And another problem is knowledge management. So there's no easy way for content owners to distinguish between outdated resources and pages for a source of truth. And another problem is workflow and automation. So a lot of content owners waste time and energy completing re repetitive tasks to manage content in their Confluence site. So this problem will be addressed by the premium team and third party apps, which is coming soon. So the solution to all these problems is page statuses. So this will help viewers and collaborators select set expectations for when they come to a page. So if you see here, you can select a status it's in the same area as the add emoji and header image. And yeah, it just adds the status to their page. Um, so yeah, what this will address is it'll set page expectations for people viewing your pages since there's a status on there and you can see what's going on. It'll help people share feedback at the right time. Um, so for example, if a page is like in progress, people will know that they need to comment on the page later and look at it when it's ready. Ready, And you can create and reuse personal workflows. So you'll see a list of up to three recently used page statuses that you used before. And these are the suggested out of the box ones that the space admin can set. And you can standardize workflows for a space. So the space admin can control if this feature is shown or what suggested statuses are there on a page. Um, so now I'll do a quick little demo. So here we have a page and here you can add a status here so I can type something and I can change the color. I'll cancel that and I'll go ahead and select one of these. So I'll just say rough draft. Um, so that's like that. And you can publish the page. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like when it's published. You'll see a tooltip here that says last updated. And it will also say in the page history what the status was. So you can see when it was changed by who, and this is what will show up if the page doesn't have a status and it's published. So it used to be in rough draft, but now it's in, in progress. Um, and here is the space settings portion. This is where the space admin can modify. So we can turn off the feature completely, turn it back on. Um, I can delete one of these statuses and you can restore the defaults back if you want. And here's what it looks like when you create 
a new status. So I can say like test. Um, and there it is. Yeah. We had a couple of questions that I remember from the previous session about this. One question was, can you set that globally or is it space by space? Uh, it's a space by space. Okay, cool. And the second one that I remember was, when is this coming out? <laughs> um, so we had a hot recently and it's like blocking all the pipelines. So hopefully within oh, this right. quarter, but everything is like ready, good to go, but we're just waiting for that to gotcha. get out blocked. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for the update. Um, I appreciate this so much, you guys. Um, it's we, you know, the second sessions usually don't get a ton of attendees. And so, uh, but I want to make sure we took a recording of this to let all of the leaders know what's going on on Confluence. And if you guys have any questions, you can hit us up in the um, leader Slack in the Confluence channel, because we have a whole bunch of friends from the Confluence team that are in there. And um, we'd be happy to chat with you if you have any questions. So um, that being said, I'm going to stop the recording and end this week's Product Insider. Stop cloud recording, yeah.